citizens of Belfast and Midcoast, Maine have been known for their healthy lifestyle since the 1960s. The fresh air along the Penobscot Bay and fertile lands were perfect for a new industry at the time, organic farming. Well, organic serves us in many different ways. It protects our land. It um, really is about healthy food and the highest possible nutritional value. Just what makes foods organic? Basically, it's the way produce is grown and processed. It's grown free of herbicides and pesticides and minimally processed without artificial ingredients, preservatives, or irradiation. One of Belfast's organic pioneers was sea captain, airplane pilot, and Irish fiddle player, David Kennedy. He was um, passionate about organic farming and started growing wheat, and then he um, started producing a pancake mix called Captain Dave's Pancake Mix, which he marketed here in Belfast. He called his company Fiddler's Green Farm, the title of an Irish folk ballad. Oh, Fiddler's Green is a place I foretell where fishermen go when they don't go to hell, where they lie at their leisure with nothing to do and the cooks below making stew for the crew. Tragically, David Kennedy died in an airplane crash in 1985, but he made sure his legacy of healthy eating would go on. His will specified that his 115-acre farm be offered rent-free for one year to tenants that would farm organically. After that year, the tenants would be given an option to buy. Today, Allen Ginsberg, his wife Judy, and a family friend, Lane Alexander, are the proud owners, making organic foods like jams, baking mixes, and cereals. I had always eaten these products, and I believe strongly in organic farming, and, and I believe in these products. The first thing we did was increase the product line and change the labels, and just through our energies, we've increased sales and um, distribution of the product. They no longer farm the land here at Fiddler's Green. They leave that task to local organic farmers and support them by buying their produce, like organic blueberries. But Fiddler's Green continues to mill all the grains on site. We supply flour to most all the local bakers. Uh, we live in an area where organic food is very much in demand. So because of it, there is like a demand for organic flour. Bakers prefer the flour and cornmeal because they're stone ground, not steel roller milled, which heats the grains and causes them to lose nutrients. Consumers also appreciate this, but the great taste is what keeps them coming back for more, combined with the fact that Alan and Lane are always open to suggestions. So I can come up to Alan and say, you know, the cornmeal last time was just a little coarse for what I like to do. Um, you know, what do you think about that? And um, every time I've come to either of them with a special request, I get listened to. Today, Fiddler's Green makes a series of hot cereals as well as pancake, biscuit, cake, cookie, and scone mixes, plus organic syrups and jams, all of which are available by mail order. They also sell their products at the Belfast Organic Co-op. And if you're lucky enough to be there on any given morning, you can sample their foods prepared personally by Alan, free of charge. It has the whole blueberries in it, which is wonderful, and then the syrupy sauce, so you don't even need that's all you need. You don't need anything else. This is a complete meal. This has everything. <laughs> yeah, the flavor is really good. The flavor is fruit, not, not just sticky sweet. Lane makes a portion of the blueberry syrup. Local women make the rest. Alan mills the grains and mixes the cereals. And every other member of both families gets involved in the packaging and creation of gift baskets. Alan's son has even developed his own personal line of organic dog biscuits. But as you can see, Alan and Lane's philosophy of good living isn't confined to just eating healthy foods. Live well, laugh often, and love much. We live in Maine, and we do this because this is the lifestyle we want to have. And our business is something that we believe in.